Hey guys, what's up? It's Greggles from the Greggles and Dan Show today. Uh, we have the Shield Software Upgrade 1.3 was just released today. Um, just a few um, update, a uh, few new things are uh, included in the update. You've got the update's pretty large. It's 653 megabytes. You get improved Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and Shield controller connectivity, and it's optimized for newly released apps and games. Some of the new apps you're going to get are uh, Cello Concerts. Fox News, and some new games. You get Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Never Alone, and Cube. That's really the extent of the update. Um, I'll do the update, and then I'll come back and run a uh, benchmark test on it to give you the benchmark numbers. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so we finished the update. We're now on 1.3 for the NVIDIA Shield TV. I'll run over to the settings to show you that. So what I've noticed so far is that when I have to go into something new that I haven't been into, like the settings or the Play Store or the Game Store, that it takes a really long time to load. And it didn't do that before, but it's doing that on the 1.3 update. There you go. Shield Android version 1.3. So hit the home button. Everything is definitely laggy, which I'm not dating. Um, this is the second time I've rebooted this, and each time I've rebooted it, it takes a really long time, like I said, to load, to load the Google Play Store and any other you know new app that I haven't loaded in a while, which. After a reboot, it shouldn't do that. It should be quick and fast like it was in the other versions. As you can see, I'm just getting a blank screen here. I pressed that almost 10 seconds ago, probably more than 10 seconds ago now. And it loads. And once you're in here, it is pretty good. And just to show you that some of the two of the new games that were released that weren't here before, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, and Never Alone. If I go back, I'm going to hit the home button. And watch, I'll load up the Play Store. And before that would have already loaded by now. It loaded kinda, and then you can see, look at it, it's kinda laggy. And it does this after every reboot, reboot, which I don't know why it's doing that. So they might have to end up pushing another update up, because this is super laggy. Anyways, uh, let's go into the benchmark score and see if we get a better benchmark score than we did in the other 1.1 and 1.2 updates. So, so far I'm super not impressed with this update. You might be better off just holding off on this update. Alright, I'll do a test. We'll do a test. And we'll see you guys after the test finishes.
so that's actually a bit surprising that I got a 70,000 score. The highest I was getting on the previous ones, I believe, was in the 68,000 and 69,000. It's now going up to 70,000, and the software is laggy, so it's kind of surprising, but good speed is good speed. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Have a great day.